Dear learners, we know that life exists in an aqueous environment. Cellular and subcellular processes, enzymatic and biochemical reactions all take place in an aqueous environment. In fact, interstitial fluids and extracellular fluids are largely made up of water. Since mammals live in a gaseous environment, in fact we all are exposed to a gaseous environment, the question, basic question that comes to our mind is, how is the aqueous state maintained in cells in such a gaseous environment? And the answer is, membrane, a biological membrane or a cell membrane. Membrane accomplish this task by internalizing and compartmentalizing body's water. Consider this is one cell, this is another cell and this is another cell. A tissue is a group of cell and each individual cell remains separated from the other cell. Now membranes contribute individuality to cells. In fact the presence of a cell membrane or a plasma membrane separates one cell from the other cell contributing individuality to cells. The membrane forms a closed compartment around the cellular protoplasm to separate cells from each other. Membrane also form closed compartments within the cell just like nuclear membrane or a membrane of, a, of an endoplasmic reticulum or a mitochondrial membrane, inner mitochondrial membrane, outer mitochondrial membrane. Likewise, membranes also form closed compartments within the cell forming intracellular structures or subcellular organelles like nucleus, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum and other such subcellular organelles. Now, a biological membrane is basically made up of a lipid bilayer and proteins are also embedded in the bilayer and of course glycolipids and glycoproteins are present there, perhaps sugar is present. A biological membrane plays a key role in the maintenance of water balance as well as ion balance. In fact, it plays a key role in the maintenance of cellular composition as well as composition outside the cell. Composition inside the cell and composition outside the cell is maintained by plasma membrane or a cell membrane. Now it plays a key role in the homeostasis. Plasma membrane plays a key role in the uh, maintenance of uh, the constituents of cell, organic constituents and inorganic constituents of cell. At a given point of time, there is a huge traffic across the membrane. Millions of molecules are getting transported across the membrane. This huge transport across the membrane is effectively and efficiently maintained and regulated by the membrane. It's because of the presence of regulators, traffic regulators within the plane of the membrane, just like channels and pumps for the transport of substrates and ions. And there are proteins, carrier proteins, transport proteins, etc., which facilitate the transport. Membrane, since it is since membrane is made up of a lipid bilayer, it allows the diffusion of small molecules. It allows the diffusion of lipid molecules, nonpolar molecules, etc. As far as larger molecules, polar and charged molecules, or molecules other than lipids are concerned, they have to get license from the membrane. So molecules cannot freely pass through the membrane. Membrane is a selectively membrane is selectively permeable in nature. So therefore, because of this selectively, selective permeability, membrane maintains and regulates the transport effectively and efficiently, thereby maintaining the differences in the composition inside and outside the cell. So any alteration in the membrane structure or composition or any changes in the membrane composition or even specific deficiency in the membrane components will lead to the 
leakage of water and ions it will lead to water imbalance ion imbalance and will eventually lead to a variety of disorders so a normal cellular function depends on normal composition of a membrane normal composition of a membrane is equal to normal cellular function the membranes localize enzymes enzymes that are crucial for the catalysis of certain reactions now therefore membrane is a metabolically active structure membranes are also thermodynamically stable ones thermodynamically stable ones so each type of cell performs a specialized function and its membrane composition suits that function so therefore there exist a structure function relationship in the case of membrane membranes are basically asymmetric sheets they are highly viscous at plastic kind of structures with distinct inner and outer surfaces so that's all about the introduction to membranes in the next lecture we will discuss about the composition of membrane